Welcome back to the scariest game if you're a penguin ever. We'll once again be cheating. 50 times obstacles, 10 times gravity. I saw how high I launched last time, and now this time I go about, wow, that is okay. It might take us a couple runs before we get anything going. <laughs> I'd say first off, sell the crate though and throw on the glider, as well as this rocket stage. Anything to help me fight the forces of gravity pulling me back down to earth, the better. Does this actually manage to fight it? No, I'm just grounded again. This doesn't even make sense. What about if I add an auxiliary boost to it? Now is this enough force to fight gravity? Please, no, let me go. Let me fly. Stop. Why? Where did all these obstacles come from? <laughs> oh, we are in for it now. Let's go ahead and buy this tilt Let's cannon. This. Be a little more work on my end to actually make sure I'm launching up properly. But the initial force off the launcher is really what I'm going to be hoping on. Come on, yes, that puts me all the way up to 5.5k, 6k. <laughs> yes. What are all these paper planes? $500. It's enough to buy this Pixels body. And this Tater Reactor is slightly better than my rocket, so we'll take it. All right, is everything going to go okay as planned? What is this? I'm an actual pixelated machine? And I'm plummeting. All right, we'll sell the tilt cannon and throw in a grenade. Let's see gravity beat the force of the world's best military, aka a penguin in a helmet. Oh my gosh, wait, hang on. I'm actually launching somewhat well all the way to 17k. And I return to Earth. This Tater Reactor is doing nothing. Just take this off and upgrade my grenade twice. There we go. And then I guess I'll just throw two balloons on. How far am I going to fly now that it's been upgraded twice? Oh my gosh. Hang on. Wait, am I going to be able to break? No, I was so close to 30k. Let me go back. Let me go back. Get out of my way. All you just random objects. Is that, did I see Flappy Bird? With 1700, I'm able to buy this bazooka with 2200 power. Also, I can start affording some Sonic Burst. I need key to fire the bazooka. Do I just have to make sure I'm getting it right there? Yeah, kind of. Well, I'm a little offset, but is this... Oh, and the Sonic Burst work? Can I use the other one quickly, please? Yes! Oh, I broke 50,000. I thought it would take me much longer before I was able to actually do this. $3,300. I feel like we can immediately hop off the bazooka and go right into the nuclear reactor. Also, let's get rid of the pixel's body and go into the spearhead because it has a higher top speed of 25 as opposed to a weak 15. All right, go get him, plutonium. Thank you. And I just launched straight up. That's always handy. How high am I about to go? Oh my gosh. 66,000. I went up 16k just off like one upgrade. Can I upgrade my spirit some more then? Because if I can level up my sonic burst too, I feel like this should also be a big help. Lucky day 13. Will I be able to see 70k? The answer, yes. Will I be able to see 100k? How close am I? No, I got all the way to 98,000. Very, very soon. I think I just need to upgrade my nuclear reactor again. All right, 100 grand, I expect you to appear. Oh no, I'm getting hit off course slightly. Did I actually make it? Wait a second, I made it to 135,000 this time. Watch out, bird. Thank you. Do these obstacles actually do anything? Or are they just merely suggestions? <laughs> Look at how many there are. Wait a second, do I have access to it? The Thunderbird one. Access to two boost slots, which I'll put dark matter in one and a money turbine in the other, as well as this dubstep drive, because I'm curious on if that's actually going to take me up there or not. And then I'll just upgrade my dark matter a bit and my money turbine once. And now this should be amazing progress. Am I right? Maybe? I made it all to 84,000. 900,000? Well, there's 100k. And the dubstep drive actually works? Sort of? This is a very, very, very slow climb, but it's a climb nonetheless. I ended up getting 135k again, and I think it's probably just because this Thunderbird doesn't go as fast as it needs to. Let's fix that. And I'm too impatient for the dubstep drive, so I'm gonna throw in another Sonic Burst, and at the end, this Ramjet. I don't know if I've ever actually used that before, so I'm mainly just curious to see how it works. This is going well, all the way up to 85,000 again off the first Sonic. The second Sonic's taking me to 140. 14, 118, and then the ramjet is just... Oh, well, this isn't taking me anywhere. I also somehow did worse this time, which does not seem to actually make sense to me. So let's sell this and upgrade my dark matter some more. Was that the issue? Was I too heavy game? Well, I just launched up to about 96,000 off one Sonic Burst this time. So honestly, that might have been the issue. Wait, no, got all the way to 130K. I think that means I need to sell my Thunderbird and go back to the spearhead and then just upgrade it four times. If I break 135,000 here, I'll know that I'm actually 
actually making good progress. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm making good progress. 156,000? Are you kidding me? So what if there's 50 trillion entities in the sky? This is working out great. So on a fourth sonic burst, I'm feeling so happy about this. And can I get my dark matter to max? Nope. No, I'm one upgrade away. That's fine. One run's all it takes. I'll even do it in five times speed. I think the only issue with my spearhead is I can't really correct its course. I just kind of go to where, well, wherever. And 15 grand in the bank. Thank you. All right, with a weight of 23 and a level three nuclear reactor on day 20, it's like I'm destined to break 200,000. First sonic burst took me to 130K. Second sonic burst, not as well. Third, still going well too. Oh, I just got knocked straight up. Yes, wait, this should be, yes, I passed 200,000. Now the obstacles are getting a lot more annoying. This is fine. I think we just need to upgrade our Sonic Burst one at a time. If I can get max Sonic Burst with the spearhead and some good, good luck, then I think each Sonic Burst will take me up about like 70k. As long as I'm aimed directly at the sky, game please, thank you. I might need a new tactic after all, because I almost hit 250,000 this time though. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to avoid everything up in the higher levels. Whatever, for now, we upgrade. Oh, this is a very, very bad launch. Oh god. <laughs> it's fine. I think this is the last launch that I actually need. Wait, I broke 300,000 this launch? What? Are these upgrades working out that well? I only have one max Sonic Burst, but I think after this next run, I should have all three maxed. Cause, oh my gosh, the first one just launched me up to 200,000 on its own. Max, max level. And I still have enough to upgrade my nuclear reactor? Hell yeah. I've reset everything, but my nuclear reactor is level eight now. So I'm hoping this means I should not end up upside down again. Is it because of the obstacles that this is happening? Because I can't exactly move my ship. If that's the case, I think I know just what to do. The reason you get knocked around is because you don't weigh enough. But if you go to the Omega shuttle, well, you just might find you end up weighing enough. I actually don't know if I'm going to launch as high though, because this thing weighs like three times as much. And you know, not only did I launch as high, I launched higher and broke 400,000. 434,000 if you want to get exact. Wait, if I want to weigh, don't I want to remove my dark matter and make my nuclear reactor max and also add money turbines just for better profits. All right, I think I honestly weigh twice as much now, so I should just knock obstacles out of the way. Yeah, you can see that they don't spawn in, but I'm worried. What? I got flipped upside down? That doesn't sound right. How am I beating my previous time? Oh, because my speed is locked at 80 now. I'm just flying through here. That's why. Another 430,000 meter run means a ton of money to spend, and I will max out my money turbines. Oh man, I almost weigh a hundred pounds. All right, upgrade the shuttle, boosting my max speed one step at a time to send me higher and higher into the air. Wow, I have one color scheme, huh? Wait a second, am I at 345,000? Oh my gosh. Did the weight of the money turbines actually just start making a difference? I mean, I'm hitting everything in my way, don't get me wrong, but still, 413K? I can make 60 grand a run? And if I buy the Omega coil and upgrade it a ton, we're on our way to 1 million. Wow, wait. Does the Omega Coral last for that long? Because I just got sent... No, I'm so close to 500k. Let me through. Let me through. I do not care. No, I'm so close. Cross it. Yes. Oh, we're halfway there. This is the hardest challenge I've ever done. And I'm making 77,000 each time. If I continue to upgrade my money turbines, do they give me better money? I've changed nothing else. Let's see if that works. Well, I didn't exactly launch all the way to 500k and I earned... Oh, well, now that's interesting. All right, let's upgrade this one to max. Now time to do three runs solely so I can upgrade my money turbines for more profit. This is probably the last run that I need. I've yet to break 500,000 again. I just got extremely lucky when I did it, I think. But I'm earning 93 grand now, and I have the true max level money turbines now. And enough to upgrade my Omega shuttle. Also, I guess I should start upgrading my Sonic Burst too, shouldn't I? Huh. With my ship upgrade and my Sonic Burst upgrade, I wonder if I'll actually be able to break 500k now. Well, the answer is yes, but only by about 25,000. But I still get 113k. And just upgrade my ship again. The more max speed, the higher I go. The higher I go, the more money I get, the more money I get, the more I can upgrade. With the money that I'm getting, I guess I should also start upgrading my Omega Coil too, because I end up with a ton of money always left over. I can bleed these upgrades down the line. Go fly. Wow, I just broke 500,000. Is that thanks to my just Omega Coil that I've been using? Because this thing is, wow, there I go. 558, yes, thousand. Well, I might as well just get my Omega Shuttle to max and then start going on the coil. What do I launch into? Oh, I've just, I've launched in Sonic 
automatic burst all the way up to 500,000. The only issue is I just can't seem to stay straight. And there's a ton of stuff in my way up here too. Well, I broke 638k, but then got blocked by 3 trillion airplanes. Wait a second. I think weight gets rid of stuff. Let me continue to upgrade my Omega coil and do one more run real quick. Oh my gosh, one more run where I get all the way up to 640,000? Keep this luck. Keep this luck. I don't think I'm... Dang it, I'm not able to break it. 664k. 148,000. Oh my gosh. Upgrade the Omega coil to max. There's a lot of max levels on my screen right now. Let me do another run, and then I can actually start upgrading my Sonic Burst all the way to the true max level. Where am I right now? Time out. Why am I so high? I broke 700,000 before my first Sonic Burst even went off? Where does that make sense at? Wait a second. Is that just how good the Omega coil is? And then if items are blocking me, wait a second. If I get rid of one money turbine and throw on the Omega brick, I add 50 pounds to myself. And then if I sell my Sonic Sonic Burst, because let's face it, these don't really do that much anymore. I can upgrade this a decent chunk to where I weigh over 300 and just buy the Omega Balloon and start working on maxing that out. Never mind, it is maxed. Look at that. Is this going to behave how I think it does? Just in case, I'm going to use an Urninator. With the weight that I have, I should throw every obstacle in my way uh, out of it. And then the balloon is just there to help me out. Well, okay, so far this is, this is working. And yeah, we're going. We're going, we're going all the way up to 565,000. Maybe let's bring you back down. Let's weigh 160 pounds and then just put all those upgrades into the coil. I think this is it. I think after abusing numerous Omega items, making myself weigh an absolute ton, I can make it to 730,000. Okay, well, maybe I let's do need this. a Sonic Burst. And then let's weigh 200 pounds. Does this increase the speed? Oh yeah, it does. I can still upgrade my shuttle too. Hang on. I might have actually just changed the entirety of this game. 200 pounds, Sonic Burst to give me a crazy amount of speed. My weight is just so high. As long as I look upwards, please, am I gonna make it? No, I'm so close. 893,000. Wait, am I still going? The Omega Balloon's carrying me? 900,000, yes. Fight. I don't know how you're managing to do this. Look at how things just hit me and immediately bounce off. What's going to happen first? I run out of this balloon or I go 50,000 more meters. Come on, please. 10,000, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. No, a giant UFO just hit me right at the end. Are you kidding me? I was 2,000 meters away. <laughs> no, we were so close. But I did just get 200 grand. Uh huh. Well, the Omega coil got upgraded three more times. And I'm fairly certain that's enough to just throw me all the way right back down because I'm facing downwards. Stupid Sonic Burst. Wait a second. Let's just go Omega Coil Upgrade, Brick Upgrade. Omega Coil Upgrade, Brick Upgrade. Omega Coil Upgrade, Brick Upgrade. Now I weigh like 80 more pounds and my Omega Coil is like twice as good. I feel like I'm knocking obstacles. Yeah, just completely out of my path. <laughs> Who'd have thought the secret to going into outer space was actually using a ship that weighs more than what it needs to? 50 times obstacles, 10 times gravity, approximately 3.14 times the amount of fun. I'll take the penguin power booster pack, please game, which just gives me some sardines and bonus points. Enough sardines to buy this extended upgrades pack, though. Up to level 100? Yep. Oh, but I have to spend my BP to get the levels up. This is day 15, and I finished. Yeah, I don't think getting BP is going to be an issue.